What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I'm Gold Pony. This is Gold Pony Crypto. And so as you guys can clearly see in the title and probably you already know, there has been some major updates with the Crypto.com card program lately. And some of those updates include things like cutting the cash back rewards in the form of Crow, also eliminating the staking program as well, and a couple others in addition to that. So in this video, I'm going to be covering all of those in depth and also what I plan on doing based upon these recent changes with the Crypto.com card program. And so, but before we get started, go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you wanted to see different cryptocurrency updates pertaining to Crypto.com. Com, Crow and Kronos. And be sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you are into those three as well. And lastly, nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. It's simply for educational and entertainment purposes. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and get started. So first I wanted to cover the why according to Chris Marzalak, the CEO of Crypto.com. And so I'm going to be looking down on my phone to read this off to you on his tweet. Essentially he said Crypto.com Visa cards have grown to become the number one crypto card program worldwide. They are in 40 countries now and they are the best. And so to ensure long term sustainability, you're essentially making a few changes to the program. And so my overall thoughts before we even get started here, by the way, this was inevitable you had to have known this was coming i didn't know when it was coming none of us knew when it was coming because this is the way crypto.com does things for whatever reasons i don't know if it's for legal reasons or not whether you just spring it upon people out of nowhere rather than just giving a heads up i don't know but quite honestly at the rate of growth this was inevitably going to happen and Quite honestly, again, there are better ways of earning Crow as opposed to the crypto card program, although that's definitely an added bonus. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just go ahead and get started with the first change, which is going to be the cashback rewards in the form of Crow. And so let me read these off to you guys here. A reduction in Crow card rewards. The Midnight Blue card is going from 1% back to 0% back. So essentially it's just like my traditional bank card, more or less. Ruby Steel card is going from 2% cash back to point. 5% or a half a percent back. Jade Green Royal Indigo, which is the one I have, is going from 3% to 1.5% back. Icy White Frosted Rose Gold is going from 5% to 3% back, and the Obsidian is going from 8% to 5% back, and that was all the staked rewards. Of course, if you unstake that crow, those rewards get reduced even more. You can still use the card, but they are reduced yet again. And by the way, I do want to give a disclaimer here. If you currently have a six-month stake open, you are going to continue to earn those traditional rewards until that six months is done, or 180 days. So right now, I'm still earning 3% because my 180 days is not up yet. I think I have like 20 more days or whatever, actually. So I still get the 3% for another 20 days or so. I'm still earning 10% on my $4,000 of staked crow for another 20 days or so and then everything is reduced. After those 180 days are over, that is when these new rates apply that I just read off to you. Second change is going to be the Crow Rewards Earn Cap. And so this is going to apply based on the card tier level that you go with. Again, Ruby Steel is going to limit you at $25 cash back per month. Jade Green slash Royal Indigo is going to limit you at $50 per month. And looking at my past history, I just looked at it real quick before I was going to make this video. I probably go over over that every month so i'm going to be hitting that 50 dollars every single month because i use this card for everything so essentially if you do some quick math being that there's 12 months in a year that means i'm going to earn 600 dollars back a year in crow and so for comparison's sake i know a lot of people on twitter at least have been mentioning well why don't you just take the four thousand dollars now since you're not going to get all that great rewards on the card and just put it into DeFi? so here's the comparison if you take that four thousand dollars and you earn let's say 11 percent is the current best rates right now on the uh, DeFi app, then that comes out to be approximately $440 per year. So $440 still is less than $600 if you use the card completely. Now, if you don't you really use the card all that much, I don't know, maybe it's worth it not to have the crypto card and just rather stake in DeFi potentially. But I do want to mention though, a lot of the other rewards you get from staking with those cards are still in effect. So I'm still getting 100% reimbursement on Netflix. You could still get 100% reimbursement on Spotify. You could still get lounge key access. If you fly a lot and you're at airports a lot, you can take advantage of 
of that. And by the way, there is no cap for the frosted rose gold, icy white tier, or the obsidian, of course, as well. So you can continue to earn an absolute crap load if you are spending a heck of a lot on these cards. All right, so for the third change and the final change, before I give you my opinion here on what I'm personally doing with the card, is going to be they are phasing out the crow card staking rewards. And so like I told you guys previously, I'm getting 10% right now because I have the jade green on my $4,000 worth of staked crow, which is pretty darn nice. And this is going to end when my 180 days is up. So I am still earning it now, even though they already announced changes, I'm still gonna earn it till my 180 days are up. So if you recently signed up and got approved for a card before May 1st, you got another, what, 170 some days to earn that 10% for jade green, for example, before the staker rewards goes away. So before it's phased out, I should put it that way. So that's kind of cool. That gives you a little bit of time to kind of plan, I guess. And so those are the three main changes. What doesn't change is still, like I said, Spotify up to $13.99, 100% reimbursed every single month. Netflix, exact same thing, up to $13.99. If you put those two together, it's $167.88. You're gonna get back a year from Spotify and $167.88 you're gonna get back from a year for Netflix as well. Not to mention the complimentary lounge key access, which is approximately $32. You can use four visits of that per year. That is going to add up to $128 then. So as far as what I'm using the card for personally right now, I do use the card quite a bit. So I more than likely, even with those cut interest rates for the Jade Green, I'm still going to hit that $50 threshold every single month, putting me at $600 a year. Plus the Netflix reimbursement as well adds to that that 167.88 and that's going to give me 767 dollars and 88 cents rewards from simply staking for the card earned in crow i want to specify that because this isn't traditional dollars that i'm earning back where it's just going to get inflated and worth a heck of a lot less this is crow and if you believe in crow and the future of crypto.com then this 600 dollars really isn't worth 600 dollars what if crow goes to a dollar this 600 dollars is worth i don't know 2000 or 1800 whatever it is i tend to believe that crow is going to continue Continue to go up just based on the fact that I started this whole journey with crypto.com. I staked for the Ruby Steel card when it was five cents. I started buying Crow when it was six cents. So I've seen Crow gone nothing but up. I've seen them only to continue to expand. And I'm not just talking about the insane marketing, the largest deal ever with the UFC or the crypto.com arena in California or in LA and all the other sports partnerships. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about the increased earn rates that I'm still getting. So although those were recently cut as well, I'm still earning 4% back on Bitcoin. I'm still earning 4% on Ethereum because I'm not a whale yet. I'm still earning 6% back on Crow if I were to leave it on the crypto.com centralized app. And of course, they've also announced that an exchange, a leverage exchange is coming to the US as well very soon, which we still don't have here in the US. I know a lot of people have it overseas. And when it comes to the US, that is going to be a very huge deal as well. But what I'm the most bullish on when it comes to the crypto.com Crow and Kronos ecosystem is the DeFi aspect, Kronos. Currently there's 700,000 unique wallets and over $4 billion total value locked at least before they made this announcement and Crow took a nosedive, but still $4 billion total value locked before this announcement took place. By the way, if you want to do a little ecosystem comparison, Polygon comes in at approximately 3.5 billion. So before the drop, Kronos was actually bigger than Polygon. Elrond comes in at approximately 440 million and then Cardano comes in at 194 million. So Kronos is still much larger than Cardano, much larger than Elrond, little bit bigger than Polygon at least before the dip. And I'm seeing this all firsthand because I am way more into DeFi on Kronos than I am in the centralized app. And the reason being is because all these returns that people are upset about, it's just a couple percentages here and there, which can add up, I'll give you that. But when you compare that to the DeFi side of things, when you look at Mad Meerkat Finance and you can get 30,000 to 90,000% APR and staking, or you could simply buy an NFT, a Mad Meerkat Treehouse NFT and earn one mad a day and before the dip, a mat a day was earned approximately $20. I was earning $20 a day and now I'm only earning $8 a day, but still $8 a day for staking an NFT is absolutely insane. That is going to add up very quickly. Not to mention if I were to sell the NFT, that's worth approximately 10,000 crow right now. At its high, it was approximately 17,000 crow. So this is what I'm talking about. The DeFi ecosystem is absolutely ridiculous on Kronos. I can mention a million things. I could say the Kronosverse, which is the metaverse that uses the Unreal Engine on Kronos. I bought 
bought a commercial tile for approximately 1300 crow it's now worth the floor price is now approximately 13,000 crow and of course that's the competitor to the sandbox to decentraland it is a legitimate metaverse that's going to have concerts in it it's got a concert hall already there's going to be gamification within the main area of that metaverse as well you can display your nfts on your walls if you own land you can buy a crevillian nft if you want to take place in the metaverse which is going to be coming down the line that's not actually a thing yet but it will be pretty soon and not to mention just the overall utility of nfts on chronos as opposed to the crypto.com centralized app you get so much better utility including tons of nft staking i've staked so many different nfts and i'm earning crow back rewards every single day so it's not just a card program that makes up this ecosystem believe it or not you have this DeFi environment that is absolutely thriving and that in my opinion is what is going to carry chronos and crypto.com and crow to the next level that's what carried binance to the next level and it's going to do the same for crypto.com and so yes it sucks to see my rewards go from three percent to 1.5 percent but i'm running 1.5 percent back in crow right now that's at the 28 cent price so when crow goes to a dollar when crow goes to five dollars when crow goes to ten dollars that 1.5 percent is going to get multiplied just Think of it that way so i'm thinking of it that way because that is what has already happened from my experience when getting all these crow back rewards when crow is sitting at a nickel so i'm just saying when in doubt when you're looking at all the current news right now just zoom out a little bit and look at what crow has done over the years that is all i'm saying but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section below that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media. If you're into crypto.com, Crow and Kronos, that's where I post my updates. Go ahead and hit the subscribe to the bell notification button. Again, if you're into those three things, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Appreciate you. Sorry, literally trying to finish editing this video for you guys. And Chris just posted something about an hour ago. I just realized in the middle of editing, he says the community has been really vocal and with regards to the changes to the car program announced yesterday. We care deeply about the community. We hear you and always listen to you as a result. We're revising the card staking rates. So we'll have to see where that goes. That literally announcement just happened an hour ago. So just wanted to add that at the end of this video. Follow me on Twitter for those constant updates. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay gold.